Welcome to a tale of two bakers. Jeff from Tatura, located 160 kilometers north of Melbourne, and John from Bayswater in Melbourne's outer suburbs. This is a tale of a competition based in Oyen, 440 kilometers northwest of Melbourne. This is the tale of an Australian icon, the Vanilla Slice. The Oyen Great Australian Vanilla Slice Contest will decide for who can mix and bake the nice... It's Adam Meninga, the 3SRFM Breakfast Club, and I never usually get this excited about doing interviews, but uh, we're having a chat with Jeff from the Tatura Bakery, and, mate, I tell you what, the best vanilla slices this side of the black stump, let me tell you. Last year, of course, you won Australia's Best Vanilla Slice. Yep, that's right. And we're off today to uh, try and hold that title. It's 5am. Jeff from Tatura Hot Bread bakes his great Australian Vanilla Slice triumph entry. To meet the midday deadline in far off Oyen, he must be ready to leave by 7 o'clock. Our format for today is to uh, produce it, take it over here with tender love and care, and it takes us about four and a half hours to get there. And then we try and present it as best we can on the day with what we've got and just hope that it stands up to the judging. Got about a minute. How's that awesome, mate? We just got to make right. sure we just yeah. keep our cool and you know, try and leave the nerves where they belong. and Just fine just, tune everything. Just get on with the job as it's got to be done and yeah, stick to our timetable. You've got to get it perfectly level. If you don't get it level and you get an odd side, um, when you get ice it, it cracks. Who's your, who's your big threat? Well, I don't know. I reckon the best man on the day will win. It's as simple as that, yeah. Travelling from Melbourne a day earlier, John chooses to make his entry on the spot at the Oyen Football Club. He also prepares vanillas for sale at the event. And so you've, you've won this a few times? Won it four times, yeah. second three times, and third once. I was talking on 3RW this morning, and the guy said uh, that you've really got nothing to accomplish, nothing to achieve, you've done it all. Yeah. Every year I'm just as good as anyone else. Yeah, yeah. It's up to the judges to decide who's yeah. the best on the day. Yeah. The standard has definitely lifted, there's no worries there. Like we've gone from this old rubber thing you used to bounce on the floor to something that's, yeah, you really look forward to eating it. That's how good it's, the competition's become. It's really got uh, stiff in that side of it, yeah. It, it, the quality is spot on and has stayed spot on right through, yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that either. Good competition's good. It makes you get out there and, you know, keep at it all the time. Yeah. So according to you, what makes the best vanilla slice? Well, I think a pastry has to be good, nice and crisp, uh, where you can bite it without it um, being cardboardy or chewy, and uh, nice creamy custard, yep. nice white icing, yep. and I think you've got a good vanilla slice then. What do you think makes the best vanilla slice? Good quality product. Yeah. You've got to buy quality ingredients. If you're not going to buy quality ingredients, don't, don't even do it. That's, 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 that's it in one. So what are you looking for here, Jeff? Evenness. Before we won the vanilla slice comp last year, we were doing about 250 just supplying vanillas oh, every really? week. And then we've been fluctuating between 1,500 and 1,800 ever since. So it's a lot of vanilla slices. Yeah. <laughs> like someone said to me, do I get sick of making vanilla slices? Well, yeah. I say to them, do you get sick of making money? Yeah, each one a little dollar, 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 dollar. <laughs> In actual fact, two dollars. <laughs> That's the short list. And I try and involve all the staff in helping pick it because it's a team effort. Yeah. You know, Glenn and I get to go away, but they get to stay here and wonder. 
don't touch them, but just have a good look at them and tell me which one you like. Glenda, you're right to have a look. Which ones you reckon? Number two, right here. And I reckon number two as well, so number two wins it. There is a place in Sorrento, Fake on Sorrento, yeah. who claim to have award-winning vanilla slices. Yeah. They have never been in the competition. Yeah, right. So they may have their own little award down there, yeah. but as for the big vanilla slice competition, they've never entered. Yeah. So it, it annoys me a little bit that, that people can yeah, put that out yeah, right. and they've never been there. With a quick change of clothes and only slightly behind schedule, right. Jeff and Glenda carefully load the bakemobile and begin their five hour voyage to Odin. One year, we were too busy making them because they were selling them that quick up in the town yeah. that we didn't have, we had them cut, but we didn't have time to get them into the tent. So that was one year we missed out. So. That's that. There we are. Famous vanilla slice. <laughs> Determined not to miss this year's deadline, John's assistant arrives at the judging tent 15 minutes early. Jeff and Glenda arrive with eight minutes to spare. On the way over, we hit a mob of galahs and killed four of them and had one stuck on the front of the grill. Yeah, so we had to stop and pull that up. And Sheila pull out in front of me with the tuga. So there uh, we go, this is going to be good. I'm going to need to trim this one because there's oh. icing dribble around. <laughs> Um, Jeff Alexander, Joe W. As entries close, the only people not out enjoying the festivities of the day are the judges, whose job is just beginning. Yeah, that there is the same colour as that one. Yeah. That's the same colour as that one. These have all come off the same sheet. Yeah. So again, like the last one, we've got the same problem with the eyes. In regard to, say, the uniformity of this one as opposed to this one here. Yeah. The finish here is a lot better on this one. Here, yeah, yeah. Where it's, it's not as thin and fine. Yeah. I think everyone's got a fair chance, and that's why I look at it. The old adage, you've got to be in it to win it, so, yeah. yeah. All the winners in the past certainly can speak volumes for the effect it has on their business in regard to sales and just the general interest. Um, so without any further ado, it gives me great pleasure to announce yet again, first place, Tatura Hot Breed. <laughs> So winner from last year. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Thank you. Well, I didn't think we had a bloody hope today with the shit that went down at home this morning. But by Jesus, it's been worth it. Every bit of it. And I really don't know what else to say, but we're proud and we're proud of our stuff. And tats on the map again for another year. And if there's any bakers out there who want a job, I need two. <laughs> I had to go and do a delivery to the radio station this morning at half past five in the morning and I walked in the back door and here he is scraping icing off a big sheet of vanilla slice and I nearly had a coronary. I thought he might be a happy little veggie mite this morning. But anyway, look what's happened. shine bold will come and try to cook Professionals and amateurs Kids with mum's cookbook you can lick oh, it, 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 it,
I am not joking. I'm, jo I'm not joking. We really were. <laughs> we can't it believe it. Nip it there, bite it right in two. Or nibble it with lots of love and taste. Got rid of everything we made, so I risk good. Yeah, sold out. Sold out. It really is so nice.